Can we get the proceedings moving now, please? That would be great. Well, first of all, what I'd like to say is welcome everybody and thank you very much for coming. Um, and very big welcome to our special guests. Thank you all for coming today. This is a double celebration as we're opening, uh, launching Kaleidoscope Plus Group and the opening of our wonderful new uh, facility, The Mess. The Kaleidoscope Group has been on a journey. As an organisation established in 1972, we were set up by a group of volunteers to, to provide mental health services um, for the local people. So why the name Kaleidoscope? Everyone's been involved in our rebranding from the outset. Feedback received from staff, service users and stakeholders led us to selecting the name that we did. People in Mind is Kaleidoscope Plus Group's service users involvement strategy and is part of the engagement portfolio. Developed by its members, People in Mind ensures that everybody accessing services are the given choice of being involved. I should have gave up and I had, but something kicked in and said, you're not that bad. Don't be beaten, rise again. Respect the world and all good men. Now I'm back and it's been a struggle, but we're good people to help, help unravel my muddles. Thank you. I'm being consulted about the new name Kaleidoscope Plus Group, alongside other possible organisation names. PIM members described that a kaleidoscope represents tiny little sparkling parts and you can put them all together. It struck me that uh, one of the huge positives about the Kaleidoscope Plus Group, wow well, I said it, um, <laughs> is how they interact um, with their service users through their people in mind groups as we've just seen. One of the most important things I feel when you, you have any kind of illness is, is being listened to and having a voice and getting support and I, I really feel um, the Kaleidoscope Plus group certainly does just that. A Kaleidoscope represents change, but importantly it's constantly changing and evolving just as our service users are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the start of domestic is it? No, not yet. Are we ready? Okay, when you're ready. We've had many ideas about uh, how to take the uh, organisation forward and we found that uh, by taking our, this name and al allows us to be independent and to do what our uh, user group have asked us to do is to provide services that they need and want. The organisation has just grown in such a proportion that it's just excelling in all areas of looking at mental health and well-being now. I think the logo is great. I mean, what with them wanting to extend the range of services and also relaunch the company uh, as a separate, separating it off from Sandwell Mine, I think it's very bright, vibrant, it's optimistic. Oh, I love it. It was chosen by the service users and I think that that says it all really. So, yes, it's a brilliant name. I love the logo. It's great. I mean, it, it kind of covers everything that they wanted it to, to say with this you know, it's about people, um, there's colours in the kaleidoscope and it's about coming together, so it's, yeah, it's a, a, a fantastic logo. I think it's brilliant, the little people that are coming together, it's like a, a family joining up. Each of the colours look at um, individual services and how we can all meet together. I like the different colours, because colours mean different things. Um, it can mean health, wealth, happiness. It means everything. It's, it's about moving forward, joining people up together, looking at people as individuals, but also working together as a team to help them. Phenomenal and, and so much more than we imagined it would be. It's lo it really is lovely and it's such a welcoming environment as well. Well, we've got lots of things going on. And we've got this beautiful facility where we can do lots of activities and groups. Just help people with their well-being. From humble days, starting in one office in 1973 in West Bromwich, this is what we've worked for all for 40 years to achieve. We have our core business and then we have new business and the new business with our health and well-being and um, improved access to psychological therapies 
has been really working well, but we want to make sure that's working really well, keep those contracts and expand them. The whole way that the, the, the offices and the therapy units have been decorated, it's all very well coordinated, it's all very mood enhancing and relaxing down there. I think it works really well. There's going to be a, a scope of lots of things that we can put on for people, activities, court groups, all well-being exercises and therapies. I see a, a very healthy future for the mezzanine downstairs and it's really nice to have someone nice and welcoming for our people with mental health problems and Cardiscope Plus we're keen not to be just for people with severe mental health problems. Anyone can have mental health problems that may not be quite so severe but if treated properly early on can stop you know deterioration so that's what we're looking to promote health and well-being and that's what the whole building is all about and the whole ethos behind the new organisation. Opportunities for people in the community to come in and, and do some cooking and therapy and massage. I think they'll love it. It's so nice how it's been decorated and the colour schemes and all the facilities there and there for people to use. The kitchen is just brilliant where they can do food and mood and healthy lifestyles. I think it's an excellent facility. I can't imagine uh, any of the actual fund providers or users failing to be impressed with it. I think it's a radical change but it's a very positive change and it's one that uh, we welcome because it enables the organisation to work across boundaries and our clinical commission group also works across boundaries so for us it's a very positive move. I think it's a fast, fantastic opportunity for everybody, service users, people in the community. I think it's absolutely great. Very much fit for purpose, you know, the government, you know, the government sees a vision for people that are suffering with illnesses and very much, not just in Sandwell, I see it fitting the whole of the country now. We could, we could go anywhere now and deliver our services and our expertise. These sort of organisations are enormously important and I certainly feel from my own personal experience that my dad may not have had to suffer as much as he has done had something like this been in place. I think they've worked really, really hard. I know what a challenge it's been for them to actually turn things around so much. I'm incredibly proud of all of them and I think the organisation itself, they're great resources, great facilities. You've just got to get out there and market them now so everybody can come in and start using them. I think the health and wellbeing approach to helping people with mental health problems is the best way forward. We're an ambitious organisation, but we're also a realistic one too. Whilst changing our name and diversifying some of our income streams have overcome some of the barriers that we've faced in the past, there'll be many more challenges going forwards. However, I'm confident that we have the drive, the passion and the commitment to meet these challenges head on.